All right, so this video is going to be a little bit longer. We're going to go do pages 14 through 17. This is basically just a lot of practice for doing actual calculations. So we're going to start off by writing our symbols, units, and equations. Okay, so our symbol for wavelength is the upside down y. The units is going to be in meters, if I can write meters. Okay, in your equation, now I like to use the v equals frequency times wavelength all the time. If you want to manipulate that to solve for wavelength, it would technically be wavelength equals V over F. Okay, frequency. Okay, so that is your lowercase f. That is going to be in hertz. Or if you see revolutions per second, that's the same thing. Okay, so your equation for frequency is F equals 1 over T. Okay, that's one equation. Or you can actually manipulate the V equals frequency times wavelength equation oops, where frequency is the same thing as saying velocity divided by wavelength. Okay, period, that is the time for a wave. Okay, that is going to be in seconds. Or that can be seconds divided by a revolution, I'm sorry, or, or cycles. Okay, so this kind of goes back to circular motion. So the equation for T would be T equals 1 over F. And then velocity, that is going to be a V. And that's going to be meters per second. And that is typically going to be your V equals frequency times wavelength or the C equals frequency times wavelength, where C would be the speed of light. Okay, so that brings us to question number two. It says, what is the speed of an EMR wave or e electromagnetic wave? That is the speed of light. So 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Okay, does it ever change? Nope. So never changes. If it is an EMR wave, it is always that. Number three, how can you change the velocity of a mechanical wave? The way you do that, remember a mechanical is something that needs a material medium. So you have to actually change the medium itself. So that means basically is if you were saying something above water and now you're saying something below water, you're actually changing the medium itself. So that is when you change from one material to the next. Okay, number four, what is the relationship between wavelength and frequency? So we've talked about this a lot. They are inverse. Okay, so that means if frequency goes up, wavelength has to go down and vice versa. Now, number five, number six, we did it in the last video, so I'm just going to skip over those. Okay, number seven, it says, what is the period? So that means I'm looking for T of a wave, oh, sorry, of a 60 hertz EM wave. So basically, I just gave you frequency is 60 hertz. Okay, so this is a simple one. Okay, so we know T equals 1 over F, so 1 over 60, and that's going to give me 0 0.017 seconds. So that is how long it takes for just one wave. Okay, so moving on to the next page, the so number 15. Okay, it says, what is the frequency of a yellow light that has a wavelength of 580 nanometers? Okay, so I'm going to underline this yellow light because you're dealing with light. That is an EMR wave. So that just told me that C is equal to 3, or my velocity is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. Okay, frequency, I don't know. That's my question mark. My wavelength is 580 nanometers. Okay, nano is 10 to the negative 9 on your metric scale. Okay, so all you got to do is add 10 to the negative 9 on there and there is your wavelength in meters. So we're gonna use that C equals frequency times wavelength. So we're gonna do 3.0 times 10 to the eighth equals frequency, I don't know. And my wavelength is 580 times 10 to the negative nine meters. So divide both sides by wavelength. Again, please be careful. Make sure you put things in parentheses. Okay, because if you don't get this answer, so I got an answer of 5.17 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So if you got something different, check your calculator and see, did you use parentheses? Because that might, that's usually the culprit is if you mess up. Now on this next one, it says, use this information for the next two questions. So this is a very popular question on a test. So um, I'll just put a star by this, okay? Because there's two different things going on. You have a radio stations are usually identified by their frequencies. One radio station in the middle of the FM band has a frequency of 99 megahertz as it travels from the radio transmitter to your car. So that is, 
your EMR wave that's it's an EMR wave that goes from the radio station to your car. Now, once your car processes it, okay, you can't hear the radio waves unless your car processes it to sound waves. So when it comes out of your speakers, the frequency when it's sound, okay, so I'm going to double underline that, sound is 440 hertz. So there's a time and place on when you want to use either one of those. So we'll show you which one to use. So it says, nine, what is the wavelength of a radio wave sent from the station's transmitter to your radio? So this is the radio wave. So we're talking about the EMR wave. Okay, so if it's an EMR wave, I know my velocity is the speed of light. Okay, and I'm going to use that 99 megahertz because that is the frequency from the radio station to my car. Okay, so my frequency is 99.0. Now megahertz, all you got to do is add that 10 to the 6th. Okay, because that's mega. And wavelength, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to plug in. So 3.0 times 10 to the 8th equals my frequency is 99.0 times 10 to the 6th. And wavelength, I don't know. Just make sure you use parentheses when you do your math. And you should get a wavelength of 3.03 meters. Now, number 10, it says, what is the wavelength of the sound wave? Okay, it's going from... The speakers to your ear. So I'm not going to use that 99 because that was the radio frequency. Now I'm talking about the sound frequency. So I get to use this 440 hertz. So when we're talking about sound, you're going to get this. We're going to, we'll give you this. Okay. The velocity of sound. Okay. I'll go ahead and give it to you is 340 meters per second. That is the standard velocity of sound. And we'll talk about how that changes with temperature later on. But for now, that is the standard for sound. Okay, so velocity of sound is 340 meters per second. Okay, I want to know what is the wavelength. So that is your question mark. And my frequency is 440 hertz. So I'm going to use the V equals frequency times wavelength. So I'm going to use 340. Frequency is 440. And wavelength, I don't know. So divide both sides by 440. And you should get a wavelength of 0.77 meters. Number 11 says, what is the frequency of a 1.75 meter long, well, I'm sorry, well, centimeter long microwave? So micro, that is the EMR. So C equals 3.0 times 10 to the eighth. Frequency, I don't know. And my wavelength is going to be 1.5. Now I can't have centimeters, so divide by 100. That's 0 0.015 meters. Okay, so this is where I get to do 3.0 times 10 to the 8th equals frequency times 0 0.015. Okay, so divide both sides by that wavelength and you get a frequency of 2 times 10 to the 10th hertz. Okay, next question, it says, how long does it take for radio signals to reach the other side of the globe? Okay, so that means I'm actually looking for time on this one. Okay, and I actually know the distance that it needs to go is 20,000 kilometers. Okay, so 20,000 kilometers, so that's your distance, your displacement. Now, I can't have kilometers. Okay, so remember there's 1,000 kilometers in one, I'm sorry, there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So just multiply that by 1,000 and you get 20 million. So that is how many meters it takes to get to the other side. Now, we're talking about radio signals. Okay, so your velocity in this case is going to be the speed of light. So 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Now, I know I'm using V instead of C, but if we're talking about time, this is, goes back to that simple equation of V equals D over T. Okay, so 3.0 times 10 to the 8th equals my displacement, which is 20 million over T. Now, please watch out for your algebra here. We see this is a common mistake. Do not multiply both sides by 20 million. What you want to do is you can actually switch those two. So technically, you should take that 20 million and divide it by 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. So that gives you a time of 0 0.07 seconds. So that's how long it takes for a radio signal to go all the way across the globe. So not very, not very long. Number 13, it says UV radiation. So UV, okay, that is EMR waves. So that means my C is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. Okay, have a wavelength of 300 nanometers. 
Okay, so nanometers, so 300. Now, nano, nanometers is times 10 to the negative 9, so all you got to do is just add that, and that fixes it. And frequency, don't know. we don't know. So my velocity in my C is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th equals frequency, I don't know, times my wavelength, which is 300, times 10 to the negative 9. So frequency, if you divide both sides by that wavelength, you should get 1 times 10 to the 15th. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So number 14, it says, what is the wavelength? So wavelength, don't know, of a tone of 256 hertz. So frequency is 256 hertz. And it's a velocity of sound, so my velocity is 340 meters per second. So I'm going to take that 340 equals my frequency, which is 256. And wavelength, I don't know. So divide both sides by that frequency. And you get a wavelength of 1.3 meters. 15, sound waves travel about five times faster in water than air. Okay, so if my velocity of air is 340 meters per second, okay, I want to know how far does the sound wave travel in water in 0.1 seconds. So if air is 340, but water is 5 times faster, so my velocity is going to be 340 times 5. And that gives you 1,700 meters per second. Okay, so that is moving pretty quickly. My time is 0 0.1 seconds. I want to know how far it actually goes. So I'm looking for my displacement. Okay, so we're going to do that V equals D over T. So my velocity is 1,700. Okay, D I don't know. And time is 0 0.1 seconds. So multiply both sides by 0 0.1, and you get a displacement of 170 meters. 16, the frequency of red light. So lights, we're talking about EMR waves, so that means C is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So hopefully this is getting repetitive enough where you start to kind of know what to look for and which velocity to use. Okay. Frequency I gave you is 4.6 times 10 to the 14th hertz. It's in hertz, so everything's good. What is the wavelength? Okay, so I'm going to set this. So 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second equals 4.6 times 10 to the 14th times wavelength. Divide both sides by our frequency. Okay, and you should get a wavelength of 6.52 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, feel free to pause this video at any time, okay, if you want to try it and then see if you did it correctly. Okay, so you can kind of use it that way if you need to. Number 17, it says, how long are sound waves of 50 hertz? Okay, so I had said sound. Okay, so I want to know what is my wavelength. The velocity of sound is 340. And my frequency is 50 hertz. Okay, so V is 340 equals my frequency, which is 50. And my wavelength, I don't know. So divide both sides by 50. And you should get a wavelength, I believe, of 6.8 meters. 18, how far do radio waves travel in 1 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds? So keyword there is radio. So we're dealing with the speed of light. I gave you time. So 1 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. And I want to know how far do they actually go. So I'm looking for displacement. So there's going to be that V equals D over T. Okay, so my velocity is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. Okay, displacement, I don't know. And then time is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. Now you can multiply both sides by whatever's on the bottom. Okay, so please do not get the last little trick we did up here. Okay, in number 12. Okay, so please don't do... This thing every single time, it's only if you if there's a variable on bottom that you're looking for is when you can switch those. Okay, when we go back to this one right here, now that something is on bottom, all you got to do is multiply both sides by that 1 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, when you do that, you should get a displacement of 30,000 meters. Okay, water waves hit the shore every 3.5 seconds. So I just told you what a wave 
Okay, the time it takes for one wave. So I just gave you period right there. So 3.5 seconds, okay, is the time for a wave. That are 12 centimeters apart, so your wavelength. Okay, so I can't have centimeters, so divide by 100. So that's 0.12 meters. What is their velocity and frequency? So velocity, I don't know. And frequency, I don't know. Okay, now there are different ways to do this. Okay, I know that velocity equals frequency times wavelength. In this case, I do have a wavelength, but I don't have a frequency. But I do have T. So the way, the way I did it, okay, I know that frequency equals 1 over T. Okay, so if I take that, so 1 over 3.5, okay, and that's going to give me a frequency of 0 0.29 hertz. So there's one answer right there. So now that I know my frequency, I can actually plug that into my velocity equation. Okay, so water waves, so we're actually talking about a material medium. So we're looking for the velocity, so it's not the speed of light. We're looking for the velocity of that wave. Okay, so velocity, I don't know. Frequency is now 0 0.29, and my wavelength is 0.12. So all I got to do is just multiply those. Okay, so my velocity is going to be 0 0.035 meters per second. Okay, number 20, calculate the wavelength of a 10 kilohertz sound wave. So we're talking about sound. So that means my velocity is 340 meters per second. Okay, my wavelength, I don't know. Okay, and my frequency, kilohertz, even though I didn't say frequency, when you see kilohertz, that's frequency. Now, frequency, so I'm going to do 10 kilohertz. Kilo is 10 to the third. So all you got to do is just add 10 to the three. Okay, or if you just take where that decimal would be and move it to the right three times, one, two, three, that's the same thing as saying 10,000 hertz. Either way, works just fine, whatever you want to do. Okay, so velocity is going to be 340 meters per second equals frequency, which is 10,000 and wavelength, I do not know. So we're going to divide both sides by 1,000. Okay, and you get, I'm sorry, 10,000. And you get a wavelength of 0 0.034 meters. Okay, we're almost done. 21, what is the frequency of a one centimeter long sound wave? So sound means velocity is 340 meters per second. Okay, frequency, I don't know. Wavelength, can't have centimeters, so one divided by 100 is 0 0.01 meters. Okay, so my velocity is 340 equals frequency, I don't know. And my wavelength is 0. Point, I'm sorry, 0 0.01. Divide both sides by that wavelength and you should get a frequency of 34,000 hertz. Okay, so the last one. Okay, what is the frequency of a 1.5 centimeter long radar wave. Okay, so radar, okay, those are gonna be your EMR waves. Okay, so we're dealing with the speed of light, so 3.0 times 10 to the eighth. Frequency, I don't know. That's your question mark. Okay, and wavelength, okay, is 1.75, I'm sorry, 1.5 centimeters. Can't have centimeters, so 1.5 to buy by 100 is 0.015 meters. Okay, so I'm going to plug that in. So 3.0 times 10 to the 8th equals frequency, I don't know, wavelength is 0 0.015. Divide both sides by that wavelength and you should get a frequency of 2 times 10 to the 10th hertz. Okay, so that video kind of showed you it gets pretty repetitive pretty quick. Okay, so the math part is not necessarily that complicated. It's pretty easy equations. You just got to know which velocity to use and where. Okay, and so that'll end this video.